When Court of Appeal Judge Mohamed Warsame garnered 16 votes to beat his opponent in the race for a slot in the Judicial Service Commission, his appointment seemed a done deal, not until National Assembly Speaker Michael Cialai, in a notice published in local dailies, directed him to appear before the House Committee on Justice and Legal Affairs for vetting and invited memoranda from the public on the judge's suitability for appointment as part of public participation. But the Judicial Service Commission chaired by Chief Justice David Maraga, through Chief Registrar of the Judiciary Anne Amadi, responded to CLI, insisting that Parliament had no role in Warsame's appointment and would therefore not attend the vetting proceedings. That move igniting yet another row between the legislature and the judiciary and could drag the executive as well, though National Assembly Speaker Justin Muturi declined to speak on the issue Sources in Parliament disclosed that the House will write to President Uhuru Kenyatta, advising him to shelve Warsame's appointment to the Judicial Service Commission. Though the judiciary has cited its independence, sources in Parliament hold that Article 250 of the Constitution requires that all appointees to commissions and independent bodies must be vetted and approved by the House. Justice Paul Kihara Karioki, the Attorney General designate, holding a similar view. Before the his Excellency the President appoints those members, they would have to come before this House for approval. Because that is the only way that the public, through yourselves, would have an opportunity of vetting the person who is nominated, as you are now doing with me. The Law Society of Kenya, through its lawyer Suyanka Lempa, has moved to the High Court seeking conservatory orders prohibiting the lawmakers from either summoning or vetting Warsame, LSK terming the vetting invalid and unconstitutional. And as the three arms of government squabble over Warsame, former lawmakers have launched an association to push for their welfare. This includes a health insurance cover by NHIF, dubbed the Platinum Package. The cover between NHIF and the association will see the members covered to a tune of 7.5 million. Kenya shillings 300 for inpatient and outpatient services respectively. Muturi offering the former MPs Association office space in parliament buildings and seconding staff to its secretariat. So just like what happens in other places, we must remain connected. So why should they, why should the sitting ones fear you can be having a, a, a space, an office? But in this country, the spirit of competition in elected politics is such that these people, when they lose the election, whether lightly or otherwise, they are condemned to the dustbin of history. I, am, I believe that what is in this room right now is more than a thousand years of experience. This is experience that is of use to Kenya. This is experience that can be tapped without necessarily rousing feathers. Because if you go to the constituency you are representing, you are going to start making the person who is the incumbent very, very uncomfortable. He might even tell the speaker that he had come to prop up his opponent. Francis Gashuri's Citizen Weekend.